What is up guys this is Foedit or FoTK and this is a video showing you how to create multiple cameras and you know how to animate from various uh, ca like camera switching uh, in a Cinema 4D scene so if you, it's like a multi-camera type um, tutorial so what I'm going to do now is set up my cameras so say I've got this dude and he's doing something he's uh, static at the moment but if he was doing something um, what you would want to do is you want to choose your various cameras. So I'll start off with the master shot, which can be, I don't know, that one. Then the next one, which I will, I don't know, a close up of his face. There we go. And I'll, I'll, I'll create four cameras. Right. Uh, another one will be near his feet. Looking at his skateboard. That's quite a nice looking shot. Maybe one from behind slightly. One of those. And we'll do one more. Uh, what shall we do? We'll do one from the other side. Pain in the ass now. Uh, we'll do a high shot. There we go. So now we've got all of our various cameras. You can decide to animate those if you wish. I'll keep them static at the moment. So there's a lot of green lines. If you don't want to see all that, you just click on the uh, what's it? The small circle at the top here. Click on it twice um, and hold down. It will turn to red. And then just drag down as well and it should do the rest. Uh, there's a quick way to doing it. Then click in that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to come up into our floor area here and click, uh, click stage. Um, and then what we want to do is, where it says camera, just drop in camera 1. Or well, camera, because that's camera 1, isn't it? Just a normal camera, and then it will automatically switch to this camera. Um, and then what you want to do is to switch to another, what you want to do is you want to hit the auto keyframe button on, click stage. Um, move to the point where you want it to change. So I'll do it for every 30 frames. Actually, how many, how many we've got? We've got four cameras. Divide it by 90. So um, we'll just do 20, actually. So we can go all the way to 80. So we'll go to 20. Hold control. Click on this. And that sets a keyframe down. Move one frame forward. And then drag camera.1 into this. So as you can see, switching between the two, it's camera. Then camera 2. Or, and you know what I mean. And then we can move forward to 40. Hold control, click again to repeat the keyframe. Move on forward and select our other camera. And then move forward to 60. Hold control, click to repaste the keyframe and drag our last camera in. So there we go. Now, if I play this, it will be probably slightly quick, but you'll see the gist. Uh, and there we are. So there we go, our cameras are changing all in one Cinema 4D sequence, so you won't have to do one camera angle, render it, do another one, render it, you can all just do it in one project file. So yeah, I hope this helped guys, um, and if you like it, uh, please comment, if you've got any suggestions, you know, pop them in the comment section as well, uh, any tutorials you want to see, etc. And yeah, and I'll see you in the next video guys, peace.